boom, hits the floor, okay? Picks me up, I was like, and next time, take time to process those thoughts before you speak. Big. Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. Today's notification shout out goes to Jennifer. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a minute. I've been vlogging. We've been doing renovations to the house. So if you guys hear Babe in the background, he's cutting wood. It's because we are doing new changes to the house and I haven't been able to sit down and record because it's been literally go, 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 super, super busy. But I told my husband that I'm gonna be sitting down today and I need to film because I miss you guys. So if you guys hear noise in the background, please, I hope you don't mind, please ignore it. But I just, I'm like, I can't be away. I cannot be away this long. I did upload a family vlog finally on my separate channel. So head over there and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys get to see me and my babies and my hubby and us just growing as a family. So yeah. So let me know what you guys are doing. It, oh, real quick, look at the nails. I got my nails done by Fam Bam. Yeah, yeah. It's like heck of washed out. I'll do a close up, but they are so gorgeous. I wanted to get like Lisa Frank vibes. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Griselda. Thank you so much. Get them with you. She watches the story times and her sister. So thank you. Thank you so much. I love them. They look gorgeous. Look at that. Super cute. So <laughs> sit back, relax, you guys. And let's get into to today's story time. Let me know what you guys are doing. If you guys are cooking, what you guys are cooking. If you guys are driving, where you guys driving. If you're watching me at work, well, what you doing? Cheers, and let's get started. I was gonna address some comments about my mama, but I think I'm gonna take a lot of Fan Bam's advice and just keep going. So I do wanna play with some new makeup that was sent to me by ColourPop, and it is, absolutely so freaking adorable the packaging is so freaking cute sometimes i get a little defensive i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie because i'm like that's my mom i understand i understand because it's very hard to understand like why i would forgive my mom and at times i'm like i can't even believe that i have a relationship with my mom just because of so many things but i feel like I've done a lot of healing and I still need to do a lot of healing, but I am just going with the flow of life. I am just going through the flow. Just, just going through it, just going through it. There has been a time I cut my mom off for X amount of years and did not talk to her. And you know, we didn't have any communication or I didn't do this, I didn't do that. There has been a lot of times where I did cut my mom off for years. So when I say it's been a journey, it's been a journey. So Tommy picks me up. She is pissed. She is yelling at me that why did I start up? Why am I acting up? Why am I acting up? And it was like really hard to not constantly like pop off because they... As I uh, say they, the adults around me really had me thinking out here that I was mid. <laughs> they really had me out here thinking that like I was crazy for not wanting to stay there and for him to be acting like he was the victim and I don't feel comfortable living here like with her or her staying here. Like they were tripping. So... Tammy's yelling at me. My mom's still upset with me of like, why did I act like that? There's a way, a time and a place. Mom, it was always on site when I saw him, always. I never wanted that man to have peace in his life because why should he have peace in his life, huh? Why should he be able to any anything? And like the nerve that he would have when things didn't go his way or like the face that he would get like, oh, he is so pissed, he's so frustrated. About what? You deserve no peace. If I get no peace, you get no peace. If I have to relive and there's certain things that trigger me, you should be triggered all the time. You should feel like I'm the kukui coming after you constantly, constantly, constantly. It should feel like that. You don't deserve peace at all at all and if you guys would know the shit that's happening now 
Ooh. Oof. Mm -mm. You don't deserve peace. Tammy is yelling at me as we're cruising in the car and I'm literally just like tuning her out. I'm literally tuning her out because I am trying to go through everything in my head of what just happened. I'm trying to think about every single little detail, everything that was said, every way they moved, every motion, every every single thing and I'm re fighting in my head like i'm really thinking everything i'm like okay how did it go down again and i'm thinking about okay and what did she say and what did he say and how did it go get i'm literally play by play in my head because i am so pissed off of how everything went down how it all went down how it all played out what was said how how this was happened and then her over here fighting with me, freaking stupid Barbara, Barbara about oh, da 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 da, da. and I'm just I'm, I'm just like okay, how did how did it playing it all over again? It was kind of like if I was like smoking a cigarette and like lighting it for the first time and feeling that like spark, and so I just kept like just going in my mind like I just needed to like hum enough so I could like go back and like relive that memory. I was also trying to go back to see if. I was wrong if I overstepped if I sh could have said it this way and I didn't have to be at a at a hundred but then I was like no Jade it does not matter him him because what he did was not okay why is everyone making it seem like it's not a big deal it is a big deal it doesn't matter if he said sorry it doesn't matter if he cried it does not matter if he feels guilty it does not matter if he feels disgusted with himself it doesn't matter i'm not responsible for how he feels oh <gasps> this is pretty look at that that is pretty so as i am in my brain thinking over every single thing that happened and how it played out and why this i could still hear tammy ah, my mom, my mom, my mom, just going off and i'm trying so hard just to stay concentrated in like my brain because i'm honestly trying to see all angles of like where i was wrong and then i was like nope mm -mm, you're not wrong you're not wrong and then i was like yeah you're wrong because this and you mess it up and your brothers and what if this and oh and i was you know going crazy tammy decides to wake me up out of my freaking la la land whack she hits my arm and it doesn't even hurt it's just more of like i felt like the pressure of her her hand so i react of don't touch me that's how i told her don't touch me she wants to take it left and be like oh my god so no one could put their hands on you because you're traumatized oh yo i was like you're f disgusting like you're gross like that's not e just don't touch me so she is like pissed and i know she feels stupid like i know she feels stupid you know how sometimes people just have that face of like oh i feel dumb like i just said something stupid yeah that's the face that she had i i was like like you're stupid like why are you why are you even doing that like why are you even trying to like you're you're dumb you're so dumb so she ends up taking me back to her place she's still trying to tell me a little bit here and there of why i was wrong time and place and that i just made things harder for my mom and i want to chime in every time she says that because making it hard for her her what about me what about me i let her get away with a few of them without me interrupting and saying what about me and i think that's like what she probably thought like okay now she's getting it because i wasn't interrupting her but i was just getting tired honestly i was just like dude i'm over it like y'all are freaking tripping tripping like it's not even my fault like he wants to sit here and act like that but you know why it's because they're so used to always silencing the victim and protecting the predator always always the predator would get invited to the carnesadas, the freaking quinces, 
birthday parties, todo. But the victim, uh, don't invite her because you know, you know, you know how she's gonna get. You know how she's gonna get. Y'all are dumb, like so dumb. That's my brother. That's my dad. That's my uncle. That's my grandpa. Stupid, 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 stupid. Caring about the wrong damn thing. I feel like I constantly have to think about everyone else's mental before my own. And I have a birthday coming up and I feel like just maybe as it gets closer, I'll be like, so I sit on the couch and Tommy goes to the back room and she's on the phone who I'm thinking is my mom because yup I told her yup I told her that's all I keep hearing her goofy ass say yup 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 don't talk to me don't talk to me <laughs> my phone starts to ring and it's my grandma and at this point I'm like I'm ready I'm ready to fight I'm ready to fight because they really had me out here really thinking that I was wrong. But at the time, I was like going back and forth, going back and forth. Okay? And at times, I feel like maybe I went a little bit too far. Because I got a slick mouth, a nasty mouth. Okay? And there's some things I can't say here on the YouTube. But I was, it was slick and it was nasty. I just, I was just, yeah. So my grandma calls. And so I answer. I'm like, hello? And she tells me... What are you doing? I was like, what? I'm not gonna sit here and fight with you, grandma. That's your kid. You need to talk to her. I did nothing wrong. You guys are just so used to forgiving everybody. You guys don't care. You guys are a bunch of cousin fuckers. You guys are a bunch of, I was just going off. And grandma just hung up on me and I was just like, okay, done. I felt like, okay, cool. I got her to hang up. I'm right, I'm right. Mm -hmm. I must be right. So I just go on my phone and I'm just like texting away, texting like my friends that I hang out with here and there and asking them if there's like anything going on that I'm just trying to get out. I don't wanna be around, you know, like my mom or anything like that. Like I'm done to hang out. Now there's this cousin that I had. I asked her like, hey, long time no talk. Hey, long time no talk. Is like, you know, you wanna hang out? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She can't wait, she wants to hang out. She hasn't seen me in a minute. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's hang out. We'll call her. Oh, her strawberry. So strawberry is like, yeah, like I'll hang out. Let's hang out. Let's do something. That's so crazy. I was thinking about you lately. Thinking about you lately. So I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. She asked, what area am I around that they can come pick me up? That she is with a few people that I might know, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like I didn't even give it a second thought. I think I was like. <sighs> I don't know what's called. I always like to call it, call it autopilot because like I have like no feelings. I would do things that like I normally would be scared of, but like I'm going to do when I'm on this like autopilot, and like I act like there's no care in the world, and I'm just like, oh well, oh well. So how my boyfriend go over there and we'll get you, and I'm like, okay, cool. Tammy is still in the back talking i know i know like i don't know if like why she's calming my mom down like y'all are so dramatic i am going to leave regardless i don't care if she's like you're not going anywhere i don't care i am and i know strawberry is up to no good if you guys want story time to strawberry i'll do story time to strawberry strawberry is up to no good and she is like a troublemaker okay well yeah we both were strawberry tells me she's gonna be like 30 minutes i'm like okay cool i'm gonna go to the restroom i'm gonna go freshen up like it it's fine it's fine. it's about to go that's the that's the attitude so i text squidward ask him where he's gonna be okay miss you it's been a minute not caring not caring about nothing i don't care about nothing I just want to have fun. He's like, oh yeah, I'm going to hang out with my friend. I'm going to be kicking it with him. Uh, I'll see if I can hang out with you later. It's cool. It's cool. I'm in such a good mood. I'm in such a good mood. Now, when I'm in this mood and when I'm in an autopilot, I feel very scared because 
like as an adult i feel very scared because i'm just like that's like a very like scary like place to be that's when like you want to do like crazy stuff like we want to go skydiving let's go skydiving it you get into that it or what it it or what like it is scary don't do it don't do it what are you doing don't do it i got the devil over here got the angel over here the angel is not even talking it's all hades i don't even care so I go past Tommy, she's like, bleep, 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 and I'm just like, I don't care. I don't care. It's like, I don't know what leaves my body, but it is just, I don't care. I go in there, I see some of Tommy's makeup, and I just start going in with the darkest like eyeliner. I always do the top and I always do the bottom, so I look like a little. <laughs> it was just, uh-uh, mm-mm. <sighs> nope, I just start getting ready, and I'm just like, you know, like whatever, like I don't care. My mom's my mom's picking him. It's cool. That's what you want to do. You want to play house and act like I don't exist. That's cool. You do that. You do that. Because that's what you did. It's fine. That's cool. You do that. You do that. Tommy is literally like just on the phone, like talking. And I think honestly she's calming my mom down because of the mess I created. As she's still arguing with my mama, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna like start walking. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get a head start. Like, I don't even wanna deal with anything else. I don't want Tommy like coming out and being like, oh, you need to come back inside, blah, 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 blah. I didn't wanna deal with any of that. I'm not going to. So I quietly leave, okay? I'm like, I'm gonna sneak out because I already had a feeling that she was gonna try and like stop me and we were gonna be fighting because I'm in this or what, okay? I'm in this, uh-oh, autopilot. I don't care, okay? I go into this occasionally when I was young and it's scary because I even scare myself. It's like uh, someone else is driving jada is driving if you know what i mean okay i don't care so i sneak out and i'm like literally like this because i feel like someone's gonna come from behind me and just whoosh. but no okay i was in the clear she didn't notice until like another 20 minutes later and she's like where the are you but i was really long gone i was running car cruise and we were out bye i just walk and i tell strawberry like hey i'm going to be like right here up the street at this one store let me know when you close she says all right cool Sorry guys, when my babies come in, they just love to take the time. Oh, thank you for having me. You're welcome. So I tell her I'm gonna be at this place. She says, okay, cool. She already tells me that she's gonna be with people. So I'm already like trying to stay and not get in my head because if I get in my head and if I care too much, then I'm gonna be like, you know what? Never mind. Like it sounded cute, it sounded fun, but not me. You know, so I gotta make sure that I stay in this like zone. So I'm waiting there for like a few minutes and boom, she pops up, comes out, we hug, we do it like, oh my God, I haven't seen you forever. You know, all fakeness. I get in the back and there is two other girls, me, Strawberry up front, and then her boyfriend. I get in the car, I say, oh, hey, what's up to him? He's like, oh, that's your cousin? She's like, yeah. Like, she didn't like how he said it, same. I would have been like, uh, what you mean? He's like, oh, you guys look nothing alike. She goes, I know I'm the pretty one like that. And I just kind of like laugh because I'm like, dude, I don't care. Like it's whatever. And he just laughs and he just like looks at me, but he does the whole like, you know, look at me. And we're driving. The girls sitting next to me are like stupid annoying, like so annoying. They kept like laughing <laughs> and like look at me <laughs> and then look at me. And I was just like, okay, like don't even get in your head. Don't even get in your head. Because if I get in my head a little too much, I, 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 We'll fight everybody, okay? So I was like trying to ignore them, but they were being like so obnoxious. And I could tell that they were texting Strawberry because Strawberry kept looking at me from like her visor down and like look at me and like kind of just laugh, look at her phone. And then I had to like tell myself like, why do you do this? Why? You know what it is when you hang out with this particular one. Why do you do it, Jade? Why do you do it? Why do you do it? Again, try not to get in my head. Try not to get in my head. So we arrive at the party and she asks me like, hey, is Squidward going to be here? I'm like, you know, I don't even know. Like I messaged him. She's like, okay, cute. Asks me like, is this something new that you're doing? <laughs> Look at my face. 
Is this something new that you're doing? Because like my eyes always kind of like gothic, like, uh -huh. and tonight will be the night that I love falling for you. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, is this something new? I was like, I guess. I hated her stupid questions. Like she always thought she was funny. She always thought like she was hilarious. Like she like so annoying, right? And I knew what she was trying to do. Like I know she was trying to talk shit because just like her her everything like so that's just like what she was she was that person when you see me hanging out with her you knew that i was like hella desperate for like someone to hang out with because i could not i don't know how many times we would fight because she would always try to be funny and slick and i I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I always want to be like, hey, say it how you mean it and stand on it. Like, say it how you mean it and stand on it. Don't be thinking you're funny, the side of your mouth. Like, say it how you want it and let that be that. I just like, kind of get annoyed with her. I'm like, okay. She ends up going into the party and I just kind of like stay outside and smoke with like the weirdos that are there. Smoking cigarettes, okay? I wasn't smoking the devil's lettuce. So I was just outside smoking, thinking I was cool, <gasps> okay? And T Tommy is going off on me, saying that I am such an inconsiderate little bitch. And y'all know how my mama feels about that word. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Everybody else could do whatever, but as soon as someone says bitch, it's off the word. It's, that's it. You cannot say that. So anyways, She's calling me a little bitch and I just made it so much harder for her. You're stressing your mom out. You know that she has this, 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 and I'm just like, don't care. Lighting one after another after another. I hear someone go, is that Alexis? Is that Alexis? Like whispering it. I'm so scared to look behind me because I am like, oh, I don't know who it's gonna be. And this like kickback had like grown ass adults in it. Like there, I hate when people with parent would party with their parents because it was just always so weird to me where I was just like, Ugh. it made me nervous. It made me super nervous. So I hear like, is that Alexis? And I'm like getting nervous to like turn around and I'm like, oh, I turn around and it's Skillet. Of course, of course it would be Skillet. I turn around, I look at her and she's like, what are you doing here? What do you mean what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? Like, why would you ask me that? She looks like a ghost. She looks like a ghost okay and the back of my head was like she's up to something she's up to something something's up something's up something's up but i was trying not to pay attention to it too much you know i was just like okay lex you're tripping like chill chill because sometimes sometimes my brain would get the best of me and like i would just like freak myself out and just get all paranoid but the back of my mind said something's up something's up girl something is up but i was just like okay ignoring it for now ignoring it for now she asks me like oh who who did who who like that who who sound like a now who 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 are you here with and i tell her strawberry strawberry and i'm like yeah strawberry and her had went at it a few times because skillet slept with strawberries boo thing and it was pretty funny because i thought they both did a good job of giving each other putasos but they were low-key scared of each other and they didn't really want to fight but they did because they were getting called out and they didn't want to look like a little beach in front of each other but they were like low-key scared of each other it was funny so i tell her her and she's like why her i'm like why not everyone else is fake around me why not just hang with them um <laughs> yeah like she looked super uncomfortable and i was like okay her friend comes out one of her friends i don't like and is like oh hey alexis like tries to i hate when it's like if we don't like each other don't be nice to me because then i have to pretend to be nice to you too so i'm like hey like <laughs> fake as hey she grabs skillet and tells her let's go back inside like they're pouring more so they're doing like shots and stuff like that skillet asks me like um did you i'm like nope because i know she's gonna do you want to come no no i don't no i don't they go outside i'm still outside i'm just like after another one one after another one after another one my mom starts to call me now and me and my mom are fighting my mom's telling me to go back to tommy's or she is going to lock me up and report me as a runaway 
I tell my mama, you report me as a runaway, and I report your mans. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I will report your mans like this with the quickness. Don't do it. Don't play me. So my mom is like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? So I am continuing to fight with her, and I'm like, mm -mm, what's wrong with you? Why is it always me? Why not him? And she's trying to explain the whole situation to me we're not gonna go through the whole shebang but just know it was a very pointless conversation that we were having because she's not gonna do anything to change and i'm not gonna go back so we're still fighting and strawberry comes by she taps my shoulder and she's like are you okay because i was answering my mom's phone calls and i was like cussing her out hanging up on her so i kind of look like a little crazy person probably fighting right and so I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm good. <sighs> she asks me if her friend will name him, we'll name him Pro, okay? Cause he really thought he was. So we'll name him Pro. So she asks me if Pro can have a cigarette and I'm like, um, he can come ask himself. I don't know why I said it, I just said it. It wasn't like I was trying to get her mans. I was like, um, he can come ask her himself. It would be different if I was like, um, he can come ask me himself. No, I was like, he can come ask me himself. That's how I said it. And she was like, okay like all annoyed right and i go inside because i'm like oh i have to go restroom i don't know it just randomly hit me i need to go restroom so i go inside and i'm like where's the restroom i don't know where why i was talking like if i was so like but i was like where's the restroom all crazy like i don't i don't know i wish i could get that jada back and someone goes oh over there and then mom and dad that are in the party are like, oh, hey, what's your name? And I'm like, Alexis. Like, I have a little attitude because I feel kind of weird because I'm like, why are you guys partying with us? So weird. Your house, but cool, whatever. And they tell me that I can use their restroom that that one is being occupied. And I'm like, okay, cool. They tell me that they have another restroom that I can use that one, that that one, that the one that I was going to is currently occupied. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I go to the restroom and before I'm like walking over there, I see Skillet like in my peripheral because she's like, she's not hard to miss. Like she has like, you know how you get to see someone from the back of their head, just like how it's shaped, like it looked like an egg and you're like, oh, I know who that is. That's how Skillet was, okay? So I see her in my peripheral and I see, that's a good word. And I'm like, oh, my heart goes to my stomach and it's like, Jada disappears, okay? And the bitchness comes out and I'm like, and I just like see this motion where he's like, just imagine your peripheral of like someone just like caressing someone like, like this, okay? And in my mind, I'm like, okay, he's like caressing her like right there. They're probably like, you know, all kinds of stuff. And I'm like trying to keep cool. Cause I'm like, chill out, chill out. Like maybe what you're seeing is not even what's happening. I'm like so scared to even like look that direction because I don't want to see something. And then I hear Alexis, come here. I turn that way and it's strawberry and she's right there big old smile okay big old smile between skillet and squidward okay she's like aren't you guys like still a thing aren't you guys still a thing why are you talking to her why are you talking to her to skillet skillet is just like beat red trying to act like uh what trying to act stupid and I'm like yeah, I think we're still a thing. And she's like, you think or you know? He doesn't even say anything. He just walks out. It is so awkward. Everybody that was there in that section is like, ooh, ooh, like that, okay? And I am just, I don't even like know what to do. I feel like, ugh, I was going good for a minute. Like, I just don't know how to act. I just don't know how to act. So I just kind of like, and I just go to the restroom that they said I could use. So I go to the restroom and I am like trying not to freak out. And I get a message from the ex and he's like, why are you at this party? Like, what are you up to? Why are you doing this? Like, I thought you were going somewhere else. Like, why did you lie? Like, he's hella trying to make me feel like oh i'm doing something wrong when he is clearly doing something wrong and i kind of fall into it for a little bit i'm kind of like what like what are you talking about like i literally told you and he's like no and why are you hanging out with strawberry you know she's bad news like he's literally making me feel like i'm crazy and if i didn't just see him and skillet like <sighs> so i'm like falling into it kind of going crazy on my phone like what like 
like second guessing myself even though like i know i'm not wrong i know i'm not wrong and i'm kind of just like what like ugh, i hate it i hated it when i would get like that so then i just hear a boom 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 knocking on the door like you can't be in here you cannot be using this restroom you can't be using this restroom i'm like i was told that it's okay like screaming before i open it like nope you can't use this restroom nope you can't use this restroom and with like everything i always feel like everything's a setup like always i'm always like ugh. so i was like okay give me a minute so i finished what i was doing wash my face wash my hands whatever and i go out and it's a girl and it's a boy and he goes mom said she can use it okay and he, uh yeah your mom and dad literally said i could use it okay well i don't want everyone just coming in my parents stuff because like people say she's like trying to go off and i'm like okay so i just walk away and her brother starts laughing because i'm like okay dude whatever like i don't <laughs> you don't gotta give me a speech i don't care so I'm walking out and I'm like looking at my phone and Strawberry calls me over again. She goes, Alexis. I'm like, what? She's like, they were like totally like having a moment before like I interrupted it. I was like, yeah, I know. Kind of look like that, huh? And she's like, mm, like you're literally going to like let that happen. And I was like, um, I don't know. He's like going off on a message. I don't know. I don't know why I was like being vulnerable with her, but I was because I was just like, autopilot feeling weird i don't know so she tells me just like just to let it go that it was stupid that they probably weren't even having a moment that she was just kidding she just wanted to see what i had to say so i was like okay whatever so the two girls that were in the car with her they're kind of like next to like the area i'm at i'm like sitting by like a couch and like there's a table okay and they're sitting right there and they're kind of like laughing amongst themselves and just like giggling and one of them goes don't you think it's kind of like really weird that like people do their makeup like that and immediately i get hawks i'm like oh, they're talking about me they're talking about me <sighs> i really thought this like look was cute whatever i thought it was cute and they just keep like giggling and giggling and i'm like mm. <laughs> like why are people just mean girl for no reason if i don't bother you why you bother me oh and they're just laughing and they're just laughing i see skillet walk over and she's like lex can we talk and i'm like i don't want to talk she's like um i think we need to talk i'm like i don't want to talk she's like can can we please talk i'm like i i don't want to talk and those girls go to skillet and they're like don't you think it's weird when girls do their eyeliner like that when they do the top and bottom like pick one like doesn't that look weird and skillet laughs and i'm like oh okay okay you guys just like being weird bitches okay so i tell them i'm like you think you're funny like just tell me don't talk all loud and like try to get my attention like you can have my attention look at me and tell me what you want what like she's weird she's so weird so weird and they're just like having their little moment and skillet like thinks it's funny and i'm like what's so funny like honestly like what's so funny and Skillet's like, I'm just trying to talk to you. Like, not everything's that serious. Like, I'm just trying to talk to you. I'm like, for what? Like, for what? Like, what do you want to talk to me about? I don't want to talk to you. She tells me we can just have a cigarette. And I'm like, okay, let, let's just go. We go outside and she's like trying to talk to me. But it, it was just like weird. Like, it was just like, so like, how's like everything like going? And have you ever talked to somebody who doesn't know how to start a conversation? It's hard. Cause she's so like, how's everything? Everything's good. Like, what is it that you want to talk about? I'm glad everything's good. And and what made me mad is that we have a history together, and she's over here acting like she doesn't know how to talk to me. Like, what is going on? So it was making me feel even more like, okay, something you did something shady. You're here with him. Like, what's going on? Like, you're making me feel weird. Like something's up, something's up, something's up. And like the whole time my heart's going boom, 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 boom. And it wasn't wrong. It was not wrong. Like it was not. So we're literally talking and I just tell her like, can you just tell me? Like, can you just tell me if you guys are hooking up? But like, if you guys came here together, she's like, what? Like, no, like what? Like so, like it was just so obvious. Like it was so obvious, but she like couldn't say it. I'm like, dude, like what the fuck? Like why? Like so i'm like going like this with my hands like can you just tell me like can you just tell me like we're going like this right like because i'm always i've always talked with my hands with nails or without nails i'm always just like no no, no like, let me paint you a picture okay let me do it for you i'm always talking like that i don't know why it gives more oomph to the conversation look what i got ross 7.99 
or else I've been killing it with the Barbie stuff lately. So I might talk with my hands and then I just feel someone come behind me and just like hug me and it's Squidward. The look in Skillet's eyes was devastating. She was just like that. Like she was so hurt and I just like let it happen. I just, I didn't push him away, none of it. I was just like, mm. like I just embraced it because I'm a dumbass. And I just, yeah. And he's like, what are you guys talking about? And I was like, oh, nothing. She said she had something to tell me. And he was like, she's, she's a liar. She's a liar. Immediately. She's a liar. She's a liar. And she just like laughed and she just walked off. So instead of me being like, she's not a liar or asking him like what he even means. I just kind of just like laugh and just go with it. We ended up walking off and just going around the block, talking to each other, being cute with each other. And it was cute at the moment, okay? It was like all like feel goods, all that. But I really wish I would have just, just been like, no, mm -mm. like you're dumb. We're not doing this. Like, what are you doing? But no, I didn't. So we come back after having our fun and I go inside the house and I sit next to the couch and like table area that I had previously set up. And the ex went off and he did something else. And I'm sitting next to those girls again, okay, again. I don't know what it was or what it is that Strawberry had told them because sometimes people just be acting funny around you because of what they heard. And it's like, um, okay, so if we have a problem, let me know. Because you're over here fighting by yourself and I don't know what's going on. So, uh, hello. I sit down and like this is kind of running, okay? Like it's like, now I just look like I just like cried. It just looks stupid, okay? And they are kind of like, oh my God, she looks so ridiculous. Like, does no one tell her anything? Like, what the fuck? And I'm just like, okay. Bunch of little birds, just birds chirping away. Chirp, chirp. And I'm just like listening. And we'll call one Elizabeth. So Elizabeth thinks it's so funny to like try and be sneaky with like taking a picture. So I knock her phone down. And I'm like, okay, like it's like, what, like what? And she's like, <laughs> what, what? I honestly did not know. Like, have you ever just been like picked on and you're just like, what, like what the f Like what, like what's going on? It was like that, okay? So the main one was Elizabeth and one named the other one Brush, okay? So Brush was like, oh my God. You could tell Brush was like more like scared, but she was like chirp, chirp, chirp. She's the one who like start a fight and be like, hold me back, hold me back. No, you gotta grab me, like grab me and make this look crazy. Okay, okay, okay. She's that person, okay? And so Elizabeth is like literally copying everything I do. Where I'm like, what the f is wrong with you? What the f is wrong with you? I was like, no, like seriously, like what the f is wrong with you? No, seriously, what the f is wrong with you? Now, <laughs> I was just like, I'm like looking around, getting a kind of like a little bit of audience. And I'm like, uh, what the f She's like, uh, what the f It was literally like I was talking to a parrot. I was like, okay, like you're weird. Okay, you're weird. Like everything it was just like mimicking me back smiling at me where i was like oh my god like this is a crazy bitch like you are a crazy bitch i was low-key scared okay because i was like something is loose like something is loose something is not right because you are a weirdo like she was weird like i'm telling you like i have never been freaked out this much until like i met like her what do we name her see she's so forgettable what did I name her for real? Mm, Elizabeth, okay. So me and Elizabeth are like literally like face to face and she's like, pick it up. Excuse you? She's like, pick it up. Who the f are you talking to? Like for real. So I asked her, who the f are you talking to? Not myself. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it seems like it, bitch. Like, I know for damn sure I'm not picking it up. You pick it up. And I'm just like looking at her, she's looking at me, and we're just like locked eyes. Like, I swear if I have a pito, she would have been all up on it. Like, that's how I felt. And I was just like, like, what does she know about me that I don't know about myself? I'm like, damn, like you over here, you're having a whole, like you, damn. So we literally have like people gathering around us. She keeps telling me like, pick it up, pick it up. Like thinking that she's so cool, I don't know who the Elizabeth thinks she is, but I'm not the one. And so I keep getting closer and closer to her because like, I, I don't know, I guess I'm just waiting for the first. So then it could be like on, let's go. 
it's about to go. Okay, and I'm telling her I'm not gonna pick it up. Skillet comes, picks up her phone and hands it to her, then puts her hand on me like, like stop, push me. I was like, bitch, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Like I was so mad. And then this stupid bitch wants to tell me, okay, Elizabeth wants to tell me, why don't you go and talk to her little boyfriend? I was like, her little boyfriend? And then it just clicked. It just clicked. Like, okay, this bitch got beef with me because of Skillet. I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm just like, so I roll my eyes and as I'm about to walk away, I hear it, that's what I thought. So, okay, I'm right back. Excuse me, excuse me. So I'm like, what? I'm like, bitch, I know you're lying. I know you're lying. So we're in each other's face. Skillet is now in the middle, trying to play mediator. Skillet's over here like, oh, she's not even worth it. She's a crazy bitch telling Elizabeth that I'm a crazy bitch. And I was like, no, 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 no. Don't speak for me. Don't speak for me. And tell them why I'm a crazy bitch. Tell them why, why I am. Tell them how you make me a crazy bitch. And so we're just going off, fighting, arguing, getting loud. She's telling me things that I have told Skillet. And it, it I, I'm just like, damn, damn. Like, wow. Like you really think sometimes when you're out here venting to, to like your friend, your bestie, you know, someone close to you, someone that you ride hard for, and they're over here telling your your business. I'm getting mad and I'm just laughing. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Cause I like, gotta laugh through the hurt. She is telling me so many hurtful, filthy things, and I'm just having to sit there. She's like, oh, she's about to cry. She's about to cry. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Cause she was making me so mad because this girl did not want to put her hands on me. And I was like, touch me, please, touch me. Pause. Like for real, I was just, I was, I was hot, I was hot. We're still just arguing, arguing, arguing. And she's still talking and she's still talking and she's still talking and she's still talking. And I'm like, you know what? Psh, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna go home. And as, I'm, as I say, I'm about to leave, Psh, I'm gonna go home. And I'm like walking away, Elizabeth goes, oh yeah, you're gonna go home to call When she said that, everybody in the whole room go, oh, like that, oh. And I was like, what'd you say? So she repeats it like the dumb bitch she is. Are you gonna go home and your daddy? So she says that right in the face, right in the face. She boom, hits the floor, okay? Everybody's like, oh, I get picked up. Okay, I get picked up by Strawberry's boyfriend, pro, he picks me up. I was like, and next time, take time to process those thoughts before you speak bitch and so he's just hugging me and like oh oh let's go let's go the mom and dad come out and you need to leave you need to leave and i'm like i don't give a so i'm mad okay so it's me pro everyone's yelling for strawberry to get in the car and then skillet gets in the car ain't nobody invite her she invited herself so we get in the car and that bitch gets up and the one that she was with what do we name that stupid bitch rush is running outside and she's like we're gonna sue <laughs> Okay, okay, you do that, bitch. So we get in the car. Strawberry's taking a long time to come out. We're screaming, pros yelling at her, telling her that we were gonna leave her. And she finally gets in the car and we pull out and it was such a good adrenaline rush. I was like, dang, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. So we ended up just driving down and we stopped at a gas station because we really thought like they were gonna call the cops or something because I hit that bitch hard, hard. And I was like, you know what? We're chilling. Like I had to let everyone know, like we're chilling. Well, it's just Skillet, Pro, and Strawberry. I was like, we're chilling. They're literally drugs in the house, literally drinking, and mom and dad are there. Okay, like we're chilling. As soon as I said that, they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, so then we just ended up driving off. We, we drive off and we're like, okay, what should we do? We went and caught a movie, okay? We went and caught a movie and it's just me and Skillet now. Just me and Skillet and it's Pro and Strawberry. And no one's even saying anything. No one's even saying anything of like, why are you here? Why are you here? We were just going with the vibes, okay? We were all just being crazy kids. Like it was literally, that's just what we were. And my mom and Tammy kept calling so much that my phone died, okay? Phone died and I totally forgot about Skillet because I was like, I don't. So it's just me and Skillet. So we went and we sit in the theaters and it is Strawberry here, Pro here, okay? Me, Skillet. Why did we sit in that way? 
I don't know. I don't know. So we're all sitting there. And I thought like, okay, Strawberry sit next to me. But I feel like Strawberry was setting me up. I feel like she would do some sneaky shit because she would move crazy and she thought like oh you're gonna move the same no we are not gonna we don't move the same i'm sitting there watching the movie we're all kind of laughing giggling me and skiller are kind of talking a little bit but i'm like Shh, we still need to talk because that girl's comment and what she was saying it all came from you like why am i even sitting here but it was so hard for me just to get up and leave sometimes i don't know why i don't know i don't know what the is wrong with me so we're sitting there and we're all like sharing like a little popcorn and we're like passing it and as pro is passing it to me i feel his freaking hands like grab mine i was like uh-uh so i tell skillet i'm like sit up she, why i'm like sit up she, why i'm like sit next to him she's like um let's just go sit over there duh i don't know why i made it so complicated i was like oh yeah so we go and sit somewhere else okay so it's just me and skillet okay we're just sitting there by ourselves strawberry's like I was like, he keeps touching my hand. He's like, I'm passing her the popcorn. She's so dramatic. Okay, whatever. So it's just me and Skillet. I'm watching the show. Show ends. She tells me what time is it. I said, my phone's dead. She's like, oh, mine too. Hmm. Convenient. Convenient. So as we're now leaving. So the movie ends and we leave. Pro tries to make a joke of like, oh, you want to sit next to your girlfriend, your girlfriend. And I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because me and Skillet... We would always like, that's my girl. That's my girl. Yep, that's my girl. Even me and Biscuit. Oh, yep, that's my girl. That's my girl. Especially because boys and men are f***ing pigs. The ones that we're around, okay? Not all men. Before someone's like, not all men. I know not all men are the same. Knock it off. Am. Anyways, I'm getting in the car and he's like, okay, what's the next stop? I'm like, I, I don't know. The skillet's like, same. So, I don't know. I don't know. He's like, all right, cool. You guys, we can come to my house. We could chill. I was like, all right, cool. So we go to his house. Uh, it's like apartment. Go to his apartment and Strawberry and him are chilling on the couch. And me and Skiller are just sitting at the table across from each other. And she's like telling me that her and Squidward aren't messing with each other, but like they hang out. And when they do the hangout, he's just talking about me. And I'm like, you know how stupid you sound? Like, do you know how stupid you sound? Like, do you know how stupid he's on? So we're getting kind of loud with each other. And I ask Pro if he has like a charger where I can charge your phone. He tells me, yeah, that it's in his bedroom. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know where your bedroom's at. Tell me why Skilla gets up and she goes to the area where I'm just like, okay, it could have been a coincidence. It could have been a coincidence. But Strawberry looked at me, I looked at Strawberry. And I just like raised my eyebrows like, he didn't even say nothing. He didn't even say nothing because he knew if he said anything, he's gonna be like, hello, the skillet know where your bedroom is, huh? Hmm. So she comes out and she's like, here, I got you. Like if it was her house, I don't know. Maybe she forgot for a second because she got real quiet after. So I go on my phone and Tammy's texting me that she's gonna call the cops on me. She's gonna report me as a runaway. I was like, bitch, I don't give a I don't give a Report me as a runaway. Uh, I guess I'll go, whatever. Report me. I don't care. I don't want to be around you and I don't want to be around my mom. So my mom's messaging me. She's telling me like all this mean, hateful stuff. And at the very end, she's like, just let me know when you're saved. I just want so I can sleep. No, no, because you don't get to have good sleep because I don't get to have good sleep. So I'm going to be wilding out doing whatever the I want to do. I don't care. I don't respond to her at all. And the ex is freaking flipping out. Where are you? Why did you punch Elizabeth in her face? What the wrong with you and just like trying to like fight with me and i'm not like what so after it gets to like a certain percentage i let skillet use it she's charging it she has the same face expression and she tells me did you tell Squidward like where you were and stuff like he's like flipping out asking about you like that's all we talk about it's all it's always you it's like always you lies so pro asks us like what's the plan what are you guys gonna do what are you guys trying to do and i was like i'm cool with whatever i'm cool with whatever strawberry wants to go anything oh you're just down for like anything which i don't even know what she's trying to say by that i was just like okay whatever so he says he's gonna invite some friends over if that was cool it's like it's your house i don't care it's your it's your apartment i don't care so he invites some some people over me and skillet are just sitting there he goes he leaves comes back and he has like wine coolers and we're just like drinking them having a little bit of fun i'm not drinking like a lot i'm just drinking like here and there because I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna lay my head tonight. Where I'm like, uh, you've pretty much just run away. Like, what are you doing? And the last people that I'm thinking in the back is if anything, I'm gonna call Mr. Peach. I'm gonna call Mr. Peach. F everything that happened, I'm just gonna call Mr. Peach. If, if anything, if anything. That's what I'm thinking, right? So, 
people start coming in little by little. There's a few people that I, I went to school with and that I talked to and I was like, oh, hey. Like, and I was like, I was like a, a social butterfly, okay? And Skillet was in the back, just like all by herself, like in her thoughts. And I was just like a social butterfly. Oh, hey, everybody. And you know how like sometimes you get in those moods where you're like, who am I? Ooh, you are me. I am who you. And you're just like having a good time. So I was just like, okay, okay, okay. In walks Elizabeth. Why is Elizabeth here? I don't know. We make eye contact. She looks at me. I look at her. And she walks right past me. Mm-hmm, bitch, because you know better. Because you know better now. And now you met me. Now you know me. What's up? So, we're just like hanging out, having a good time, and walks forward. And I'm like, oh my God. Immediately, he sees me. And I just like try to avoid him, okay? I just try to avoid him. I go in like chill among like another circle, and I'm just like, hey guys, like I don't even know them. Oh, hey. And we're just like talking. He goes straight to Skillet. And I'm just like, why did I act like that? Why Why didn't I just like, oh, hey, like why didn't I just gravitate towards him? Because I'm a child and I'm thinking like a child. Instead of acting like, if, it, if I was grown and that's what happened, okay, bye. It never would have even gone that far. No, no time of day, period, okay, at all. So him and Skiller are talking and then they ended up disappearing. I don't know where the f they go, okay? I'm like, where did they go? Don't know. The night continues, it gets a little bit a little bit blurry, everyone's having fun. I'm sitting on the couch and I'm like, just like going through my phone, my phone, I got no one to text, got no one to talk to, okay, nobody. Pro sits right next to me and he tells me, so how close are you in Strawberry? I'm like, close, because I already could feel it. You know, just how women know when someone wants their man, they're, we just know, okay, you know when someone's up to no good, like you just know. I could just smell it on, on Pro, I could just smell it, no, we did, there's no need to like talk. How are you doing? Do you need more of this? None of that. So I have forgot I had told Strawberry if he wanted a cigarette, he can come and ask me, right? So he's like, so how close are you guys? And I said, close. So I'm like, so looking at my phone, like beep, boop, 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 beep, bop, beep, bop, right? Can we go like, go have a cigarette? I'm like, I'm good. You can have a cigarette, but I don't need a cigarette. And I like give him one. You got a light? I'm like, yep. I gave him the light and as I'm passing him the light he kind of holds onto it and then I'm like okay I just let it I just let it drop <laughs> bye like I'm no time of day he laughs gets up and he walks out and he walks out with two of his friends walks out with two of his friends and as he leaves strawberry comes to down next to me and she goes oh, I wonder why, like we're not like close anymore like I wish we were closer like bitch you know why we're not close like anytime me and you get together like it's just some, some weird tension and it's just like it's not good. It's not good. And it sucks having those kind of cousins where you just know that like if we weren't related or we didn't grow up together, we wouldn't we wouldn't talk to each other. It was like that. So I tell her, I'm like, hey, have you seen Squidward? And she's like, yeah, I think he's in the restroom. And I was like, have you seen Skillet? She's like, no, I haven't. I thought she left. I'm like, okay, cool. Her response kind of calmed me down because it didn't feel like she was instigating and it didn't feel like nothing was up. So I get up because I'm like, oh, I need to use the restroom. I don't know why I said it out loud. I was hoping like if they were in the restroom together, they would have like, oh, come out quick. But it was loud, so there was no way. But it was just like one thing like, oh, okay, I said it. One, two, three, here I come, bitch, here I come. So as I'm walking to the restroom, my heart is like beating because I already know what is going to come. Like I already know. Are you gonna do anything about it? No, you're not. I'm walking towards the restroom, and as I'm walking towards the restroom, my heart is just like dun -dum, dun -dum, dun -dum, dun -dum, dun -dum. I'm just like super duper nervous, and it's one of those restrooms where like you could put your thumb in to unlock it. Like it's not a secure lock. Like it's not. So first, I grab it very firmly because I don't want to make too much noise or jiggle it too much. Because if I jiggle it too much, they're gonna freak out and be like, ah, you know. So I'm holding onto it. And I'm like. Ah it's locked so as i'm like oh it's locked i hold it and i go like that and i open it okay and i open it <sighs> he moved so quickly so quickly so quickly so she is like leaning up against the sink and he just like moved really quick and he like looked and he's like oh we're just talking like i just moved because like you're opening the door like quick 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 how he was talking and i was like right she's crying she's crying so i'm like okay maybe nothing they weren't doing anything maybe they were confiding in each other or whatever and i just look at her i'm like you good and she's like mm -hmm. like crying i don't care i don't care skillet i don't care i'm just asking just in case 
and I ask him like are you, are you gonna be leaving soon are you gonna give me a ride and he's like uh yeah like a ride where I'm like I don't know so he walks out he just leaves her and does the whole like touch her on her on her knee like oh okay whatever I'm like why are you touching her I I, I don't know and she like walks out and I look at her again I'm like you good because mm -hmm. I don't know I you just never know you know if she would have said something else maybe it would have been a different reaction but it was just like okay damn y'all it's hot in here it's hot so me and him are walking out and i'm telling strawberry like okay i'm leaving like he's gonna take me home and she's like oh okay yeah and she's like just let me know like like we should hang out more we should definitely get together i'm like see let's in the restroom crying she's like okay like i'm like okay so me and him are leaving out and as we're leaving out pro is walking back in with his friends and he's like oh where are you going grabs me by my hand oh where are you going and i was like oh i'm gonna go with my boyfriend and we're gonna go home oh, okay cool so we leave go downstairs and before we even hit downstairs he goes off who the f is that why did he grab you what are you doing he starts pushing me and pushing me and pushing me downstairs and i'm like wow like you literally were just in the in the restroom with skillet i was talking to her because she says that you don't want to be her friend no more do you hear how stupid that sounds do you hear how dumb that sounds like it was so stupid and so pathetic where it's just like do you not hear yourself speak hmm? dumb so he's like pushing me pushing me as we're going down the stairs and i'm like trying to catch myself because i don't want to fall we get to like the ed the edge where it's like this is like the, you know how there's sometimes there's some space and then there's more stairs that go down we get to, to that area and he's like pushing me up against the wall and he's like what's wrong with you like why are you, why are you like that like you're so overly friendly da, 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 da. just like pushing me pushing me pushing me and i'm just sitting there and i'm just like i don't know like i'm trying to like give him a good reason of like why i was talking to pro or why i let pro touch my hand and why like i'm like thinking that and I, I, i'm like trying to come up with it you see you can't even come up with a good lie and he's like in my face and i'm just like oh okay i was like you know i don't want i don't even want to leave with you oh don't start your shit so he's like pushing me down the stairs now and i'm like i'm not starting nothing like i don't want to leave with you he's like, stop let's go and i'm like no like i don't want to leave with you like why are you acting like this oh he loses his shit why are you acting crazy why are you saying this all of a sudden like why are you why are you talking like this i was like talking like what he's like what standing up for myself that's what he, that's what he means like why are you talking back to me and i'm like i don't want to leave with you like i don't want to leave. i'm gonna go back upstairs with strawberry like i don't want to do this and then i'm like leaving to go back upstairs because i'm like nope i'll just go with strawberry like you're tripping like you're tripping i'm not doing anything like you're just projecting this like you're projecting leave me alone so I'm trying to go upstairs and as I'm trying to go back upstairs, he's like grabbing me, like grabbing me hard. Where like the the next few days later, like I have bruises, like that's how hard he would like grab onto me. So I'm like trying to go back upstairs and I'm like, let go of me. Like, Shh, why are you so loud? Why are you so fucking loud? Why are you always so fucking loud? Like he's getting so mad because I'm being loud. And he's like holding me so like I can't go up. So he's like holding my hand and I'm like, let go. Like I don't want to be around you. Why are you talking like this? Like you sound so stupid. Like I, I hate when you act like this. Like I can't stand it. If you leave, we will never be together ever. Do you hear me? We will never be together. Like I'll hate you. He starts telling me all these hateful things and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll go. Go back downstairs with him. And as we're going downstairs, I can hear strawberry coming down and she thought like you already left like here. And she's giving me the lighter because Pro had had my lighter. She just goes, here, Pro said to give you this. He said, you gave it to him. <sighs> Ooh, girl, it was not her fault. Okay, it is not her fault <laughs> at all. It set him off. Like I could feel it, like how he was gripping my hand. Like I could feel it, like my fingers hurt so damn bad where he was squeezing them and i was so scared i was dripping sweat where i was like huh like i was so scared and she's like here like she's just not even like she's not even seeing like my help me eyes like she's just like here <laughs> and i was oh thanks and i grab it and she's like okay well text me text me later and i'm like okay bye i really thought she was gonna come save a hoe i really thought she was so i get in the car and he is mad like he opened the door and like threw me in the car slammed the door and so i'm just sitting in the car and i'm just like 
Like I am so, <laughs> I'm so scared. So like, he gets in and he's like, what the? So you're just out there smoking with him? I was like, no, that's why he had the lighter. He asked me for a light and you gave it to him. You don't know how to say no. You don't know how to say no. And I'm like, mm, obviously not if you got it. Like I'm over here trying to crack a joke. Boom. And I'm like, mm, mm. okay, that felt good. That felt good. And the whole time I'm thinking like, I should just give him skillet. Like I should just give him the skillet. Like why am I over here? Like, why am I so hung up on this dude? Why? Like it was so crazy, you guys. This toxic love that I had. Cause when he said those words, like, if you go upstairs, I will not be with you. I was like, <gasps> like scared. Like, no, like you cannot, no. And I just seen him upstairs with skillet. But like, how come my brain, why, why, why? Grown up Lex, I wouldn't even give him any time of the day. None. I would have had like tunnel vision, not seen anything in my peripheral, like boop. Not having no conversation at all. No hi, no bye, no nothing. What's your name? No name, got none. You won't even know, I'm a ghost. Don't know me. So he's driving and he's like driving kind of crazy, driving, he's, he's, he's mad, he's mad. He goes, where did I drop you off? I'm like, I don't know. You can drop me back off over here. Do you have to get dropped off? Or like, can we talk? Which is code word for let me take you home and let me do what I want. And then you can kick rocks in the morning at the window. That's what it meant. So I was like, um, okay, sure. Yeah, like, um, no, I don't have to. I don't have to be home. You know, like you pissed me off, pissed me off so much, but you only get like this. Cause like, you know, like I love you. I don't want, I don't want no one else to have you. He starts with that toxic, talking and the complimenting the over complimenting me of you're so beautiful this that he would only compliment me when he was being so like hateful and mean love bomb me that's what that's what it's called i drove around for a little bit because he was waiting for his mom to go to sleep so i was like oh. okay so we're driving around driving around we get a little bit of like betos and we're like talking and he is trying to to see like how much interaction i had with pro what did he say? Oh, you just asked about how did he say it? Like it was like he wanted so much detail, so much detail, where it's like he wanted me to paint it for him. And if I couldn't paint good enough, do it again, draw it again, do it again. So Strawberry texted me. She's like, "Hey, do you know where Skillet's going? Like where we gotta drop her off?" And I said, "No, no. She was there at the party with Elizabeth. Have Elizabeth deal with her since they want to be buddy buddy." And she's like, all right, cool, you good? And I said, yeah, I'm good. She said, okay, cool. You down to kick it tomorrow? I said, yup, time passes, time passes, time passes. I go through the window, he meets me, he, he gets in, goes down, meets me, and going through the window, his mom is pissed. He said this bruja was sleeping, but she was not. We go into the sala, turn on the light, and boom, she's right there, and she's just like, what is she doing here? What is she doing here? And he's like, I am ma. Oh, you know how her mom is like he's going he goes in with a whole thing of like my mom is having problems and I can't be around and he's just worried for me like mom please mom please oh they're being begging to her like a little bitch and she's like oh, you know the rules I don't want her here in the morning when I wake up I don't want to see her you hear me talking to him as if I'm not in the room I'm like okay she goes to her room and I tell him like I'm gonna go to the restroom he's like wait I'm like okay so he wanted to be outside of the restroom as I go restroom. Cause he wanted to go inside and I'm like, I'm going number two. And he's like, okay, well let me see your phone. So I give him my phone and I go to the restroom cause I needed to go number two, clean up, wash up, all of that, all that stuff. And I, I come out and he is just like going through my phone, like just going through my phone. Like why is he almost dead? And I'm like, oh, cause I didn't have a charger. Why didn't you have a charger? I don't, uh, I don't know. Where's your backpack? I left it. Why did you leave it? I don't know. Like so much was going on. So much going on that you forgot your backpack. Yeah. Who has your backpack? I was like, I think my mom or I think Tommy. Like I don't honestly, I don't remember. Like it was just like so much had went on where I'm like, I don't, I don't. Why don't you remember? I'm like, cause I don't. So he's gonna go to the restroom now. I was like, miss your phone. Ooh, he got so mad. He's like, don't start your shit. Okay. I felt so stupid. Like I hated how it felt like even me like getting the courage to ask, like, let me see your phone. It was like, it took a lot and it made me so nervous. So I'm waiting for him. He's, he goes away right here. I'm like, okay. So I'm waiting there and I'm like on my phone and I notice that some messages are like missing. So I'm like, 
you probably block skillet so i go and look and sure enough yep he blocked skillet so i text skillet i'm like hey are you good because i wanted to know and she goes question mark i'm like are you good question mark i'm like what do you mean question mark like are you good and she goes alexis so I don't know what he texted her before he blocked her. So I'm like, uh, yes, she doesn't reply. He goes out of the restroom and we go and sleep on the bed. You know the rest from there. And afterwards, his mom, I thought she was sleeping. We thought the fan was enough noise. She comes out. She gives me the ugliest, ugliest, ugliest look. Ugly. And I feel so disgusted because it's like, girl, if you only knew, I didn't want to do this. Okay. If I say no, this is what happens. Like I, I get in trouble. Like, and you can always say no. It doesn't matter. Always say no. If you don't feel comfortable, don't be like, oh, I'm just going to, it's going to be over quick. Two minutes, 30 seconds. If you don't want to do it, say no. Okay. No is no. And say it loud. No. Little X was little X. So she's just staring at me like ugly, ugly, probably wishing it was her. But I was just like, like, I could not like, I, I, I felt like I had to go like this. So she would stop looking at me, but she's just, just staring at me where it's like, bitch, look at your son that way. Okay. Look at him that way. Did you hear me moaning or him? Him, right? Look at him, not me. Like I felt so uncomfortable and I was like, sorry. She goes to the restroom, which I don't know what she's going to do. She's probably going to something. I don't know. She's disgusting. So early in the morning, I set my alarm. Okay. Early, 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 early in the morning. I set it for 530. Okay. Set it for 530. And I am so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Because I got to think about like, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Hmm? Where am I going to go? I got nowhere. So I wake him up and I'm like, are you going to go with me? Are you going to hang out with me? Like, what are we, what are we doing? He's like, why am I going to hang out with you? Cause I got nowhere to go right now. So what are we doing? And he goes, you need to find somewhere to go. Like, that's not my responsibility. Like that's not, I was like, okay, but you want to be doing whatever you want to me. He's like, yeah, cause you're my girlfriend. Doesn't make sense, but okay, whatever. So I text my mom. And I tell her, like, is he gone? Is he gone? Like, I want to I wanna go by and I want to say hi. And she's like, yeah, he leaves in 30. Don't come. Don't come until he's gone. I don't want any drama. Which is fine. Which is fine. Which is not okay. But it's part of my story. So I'm like, okay, cool. So 5.30, I'm going to go freshen up. And then that piece of shit is at 6. I got somewhere to go. Bingo! You don't know how happy I was. I was like, mmm. Chicka be goopy goop 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 bing. Bing chicka bing chicka bing goop bing goop bing. As I am getting up, I'm like getting excited because I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna get to see my brothers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm getting ready. I'm in the restroom and then out comes that pinche bruja fea penguin looking ass bitch. So she comes out. I see. ¿Qué te dije? What did I tell you? I told her I did not want to see you. Pinche cara. She didn't want to see my face. That why am I still here? And then I make myself at home. And then I'm in the restroom, like, cleaning my face. My bitch, how the f*** am I making myself home? Cleaning my face? Stupid ass bitch. But I, of course, I can't think like that. I can't say that because, God forbid, I say something about his mommy. So I turn off the water. I'm like, wait. And she's just, just using all the hot water. Bitch, How? How? How am I using all the hot water? Oh my God, it pissed me off. When I moved in with them, I bitch would bitch and moan, bitch and moan about the water. Bitch and moan, bitch and moan. And then the times that I always take a shower when she was like out and about, she never showers, da 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 da, -da this. And people like her, people like, bitch, shut the f up. You dusty, crusty, musty bitch. Shut the f up. Oh, it pissed me off. And he's like telling her, ah, ma, ah, ma. Like always whining to her that he's going to go take me. She no, you're not going to take her anywhere. No, you're not going to take her anywhere. She can walk herself. She can walk herself. You're not going to, you're not going to use my gas. You're not going to use my gas. And he's like, I have to take her. Like, well, I can't just let her like walk by herself. Yes, you can. It's either you listen to me or I'm taking away the car. And so I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting in the f restroom. Okay. Early in the morning. And I'm just like. 
<sighs> this bitch is so crazy. I literally can't, like I can't. I'll tell her, I'll tell her. Okay, ma, okay, yeah, go to your room. Like whining to her, right, in this little... So he comes in the restroom, closes the door, and what do you think happens? Okay, yeah. And then after, had to tell me, I can't take you. Excuse me? Excuse me? You're gonna take me. And so I start fighting with him. I was like, no, you're gonna take me. Especially like, I didn't even wanna, no. Like, you're gonna take me. I can't, I can't. He's like, and this just is what boyfriend and girlfriends do. And I'm like, no, like you're gonna take me. Like I was so annoyed, so annoyed. Cause it literally just felt like I was a fucking toy that he just played with. Like. I was like, you're gonna take me. Like, you need to take me. Like, I already texted my mom that you're gonna take me. Like, I'm not gonna walk. Like, it's super far. You need to take me. I don't wanna fight with my mom. I don't care. You need to take me. You need to take me. And it was, mm, he was so mad. He did the whole, like, head scratching thing of, like, you don't care if I fight with my mom. I'm like, mm-mm. Like, you need to take me. Especially, like, what we just, no, you need to take me. Like, you need to take me. He's like, so what? It's like payment? I don't care. S -s 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 Say it. Say it how you want, I don't care. You need to take me. So my mom texted me, where are you? Because now he's already gone and I need to go. Where are you, where are you, where are you? Messaging me, because now I guess like, she starts freaking out. I don't know, like my mom gets on these random things where it's like, she starts to like get worried and then she just like bombards me like crazy. But if she's occupied and busy, don't bother. She doesn't bother. She's texting over and over and over. Where are you, where are you, where are you? And I, and I tell her, like, I can't get a ride. I can't get a ride. I can't get a ride. Why not? You said you were going to come over. Like, why did you make it seem like you were going to come over? Like, I was rushing him out the door. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you had to pull him out by his ball sack. I don't care. Stop telling me stuff like that. I don't care. So I'm fighting with her, fighting with him. He goes out and he's like, um, uh, um, uh. And I just hear, like, the keys. Like, she had, like, taken the keys from him. No, no, that's how you had. No, no. That's how she's. And so. I just open the window and I just hop out that bitch. I just hop out that bitch. And I was like, mm, bye, like really loud, really, really loud. And I just like hide like in the bushes that they have right there. I just hide and he just texts me like, what the f wrong with you? And I text my mom, I tell her where I'm at. I tell her, if you wanna go pick me up, this is where it's at. I don't wanna fight with you. This is where I'm at. Oh my God, I'll be on my day. You're over there playing house. Like mom, mm -mm -mm -mm. you don't get to tell me nothing. You don't get to tell me nothing. You don't get to tell me nothing. I wait like a good like 15 minutes. My mom takes her sweet ass time. It does not take that long to get to where I was at. Okay, it does not get, especially because early in the morning, there's no traffic. There's no excuses. There's no excuses. So my mom pulls up. My mom's honking and honking and honking and honking. And as I'm like getting out of the bushes, like to go to my mom's car, I'm like, stop, stop, stop. Like all freaking out. Out comes the ex's mom. Get thrice and her and my mom have a little exchange of words. And I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. I love you guys so much. Besos a todos. And if you guys like story times, please make sure to thumbs up my videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment down below. And your comment can possibly be the next notification shout out. I love you guys so much. Besos a todos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.